What is good, the people of the internet? Welcome to another episode of White Gloves Review Unscripted. Just in case you guys are wondering if I'm still the same guy, yes I am. I have this on because it's getting cold. It's getting very cold. For a Californian, uh, anything below 70, it's cold. So because it's cold, we have something very interesting that we're gonna unbox today. Boom, we got an electric hot pot with a barbecue grill. I say a word. Oh, would you look at that? There's a handle. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is a Sonia, I guess it's called Sonia, electric hot pot with barbecue grill. There you go. These are cool. One at a time. We got a pair of strainers. Prevent you from uh, getting burned. All right, so we got the plug and we got the handle to the lid. Now we'll get to this bad boy. Right here, this is the bad boy right here. We got a non-stick grill surface. All right, this is awesome. So this is very, very satisfying. So this sits right on top of this, look. Very, very secure. And boom, you have the grill right on top. There you go. So you have two buttons right here. You have two buttons. This is for the hot pot, so low, off, high. And then this is for the actual grill. It only has one temperature. It's just on and off. That's it. Seeing is believing, so I'm gonna shut up and we're gonna eat, actually. My stomach is growling. Today is a good day because all this is for me. All right, I'm gonna teach you guys how to eat this. You can actually put a lot of uh, flavoring into your broth, but today we're just gonna keep it simple. Take this off first. We're just gonna start with the hot pot. So just water, just plain old water. Eyeball it. All right, so this is turned up. We're gonna wait for the water to boil. As we do so, I'm gonna walk you guys through all the ingredients that we have today. King oyster mushrooms. They taste like a uh, scallop, by the way, once you cook them. Chicken thighs, seasoned it with salt, sugar and pepper, pork belly, bacon, thinly sliced, we're gonna use that on the grill, ribeye steak, we sliced it, but before that we seasoned it, salt, pepper, sugar, very basic, very basic. A very thin sliced ribeye. So when you're eating hot pot or if you're eating Korean barbecue, you wanna have very, very thin sliced meat because they cook easily and also it's a lot tender. So I have a nickname, they call me the sauce boss. And this is uh, the sauce that I made for the hot pot. You can actually use it for the barbecue as well. Uh, it's secret ingredients, but I'll share it with you. Peanut butter, saute sauce, garlic powder, onion powder, sugar, salt, soy sauce, vinegar. That's about it. That's all she wrote. And we have a little bit of green. We're gonna wrap this. Um, we're gonna wrap the meat with these. And you can also put it in boiled water. It took about maybe 10 to 12 minutes for the water to boil. I'm very hungry actually. When I was told we're gonna be shooting this, I did not eat breakfast. I'm gonna go in, we'll do a little swisheroo. So first things first, we're gonna have some thinly sliced ribeyes. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Just put it in. People ask, oh, how do you know when it's done? You'll know when you know, when the color changes. I give it maybe about, especially when it's this thin, give it maybe seven seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Some people like to do it more, but for safe, seven to 15 seconds, usually once it changes color, let me show you. See this? It's ready, ready to go. And then, you know that sauce that I just made? Yeah, right here, dip it. Oh, this is, this is dope. Oh. You have a happy boy today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Mm. We don't discriminate, nobody gets left behind. Oh, it's good. For something like the mushroom, um, I advise you to leave it in a little longer. And usually the soup, if you will, 
will take up the flavor from the meat, from all the vegetable and everything that you put in. We're not gonna touch it for maybe a good 10, 15 minutes. Same thing with chicken. Leave that in for a while. I'll give it like at least three minutes or so. All right, well, we wait. You're gonna watch me eat. Cause that's what you came here for. To watch the boy eat. This is awesome, dude. This pot is dope. Oh, look at it. Oh, schnace. Ooh. And this sauce is so good. So good. Tastes so good, make you wanna slap your mama. Don't it, Willie? Yeah, boy. Hey, mama. What the hell you want, Willie? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> you know what? I'm happy when I'm, you know, singing my own music. Oh. Oh, so good. Oh, dude, look at this. Got a little fatty in this. Mmm. Mmm. If you're watching this at 1 a.m. in the morning, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> While we wait for the chicken to cook, I'm gonna put this bad boy on. Bring this. Boom. Oh, this thing heats up instantly. Maybe a good 20 seconds. And all right, we'll start with the uh, pork belly. So why are we using pork belly first? Well, first there's a lot of fat. Look, it has to be thinly sliced, all right? Or else you're gonna be... Okay, look, it's heating, but it's not like cooked, cooked, okay? So it's, oh, look at that. Sizzle. And then you want to use the pork belly's fat to coat the top. So then you can put other meat. This is awesome, dude. I'm having hot pot right here, and I'm having a grill right here. This is crazy. So for example, if I just basically put this in hot water and it's cooked, but if I want it a little bit crispy, oh look, I can put it right here. Chicken is ready. Sauce, chicken. Sauce, chicken. Oh, so tender, God. Mmm, oh, so good. This legitimately will be an episode where you're just watching me eat. And we can talk too. How about that election though, huh? <laughs> Would you shut who is up, your, man? Listen, who is- Oh, this is like legitimately the Thai sauteed chicken. I'm gonna give it a little flip. Okay. All right, so you see this? All that fat that's rendered from the bacon. So I just greased up, right? All right, now I'm gonna take a piece of cut ribeye. Look at that ribeye. Very, very well seasoned. Oh, music to my ear. Again, this there's only one temperature for this. So make sure you're monitoring this as you're eating. And another issue with this is, there's gonna be grease, right? So you're gonna have to remove this every so often to clean off the grease or else it's gonna be overflowing into the pot itself. Oh look, chicken's done. <laughs> it's like we're eating this. Oh look, you can do this. A little bit, oh. Yeah, put a little bit of fry mark here. Oh, dude. Look at that. Grill mark right here. Oh, look this. Whoa, whoa, zoom. Honestly, if you really, really want to be a bad boy, you take these thinly sliced beef right here. You don't put them at the bottom, you put them at the top right here. Oh, right here. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. Bad boys, bad boys. Bad boys, bad boys. Bad boys, bad boys. Salivating. Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Stop playing! I got you, I got you. When it's fresh like that, you put it on a blanket of lettuce. Oh, look at some of that sauce I made. And then, you know how it's done. Put the chopstick away, use your hands, wrap it, wrap it, like a little pouch right here. And you deliver. 
Mm. Oh man, this is dope. Best episode yet, dude. Bacon. Oh yeah, see that grease dripping? Damn! Put that bacon on that leaf. Let's get some of that. Look at you. Look at you. Some close up. Look at that. Sauce. Wrap it. Mmm. Oh man. Oh we're done. Oh. Fun fact. Just had In and Out yesterday. I usually do the protein style. So this is my version of a protein style steak. Oh, oh, mmm. One more. <laughs> this is awesome. Especially during winter season, when it's cold outside, you want to stay in, stay warm. You want to have barbecue. You also want to have hot pot or soup, shabu shabu. This, this, is, this is it, man. All in one. When your lady can't decide what to have, you tell them, we're gonna have the two in one. After the first batch, you realize the heat is a lot higher and it's cooking a lot quicker. Look at that. Oh wow. And the temperature on this is very hot. Look at that. Half of the water I pour in is already gone. Evaporated. Magic. While we wait, we're gonna have some vegetable. I can see why Mario loves mushrooms. Last one, last one, last one. I gotta stop. Oh, that's it. There you go. Wrap it like a burrito. Oh. Oh God, that's so good. I'm gonna finish this, and then we're gonna give you our feedback. Oh, I'm so full. I'm gonna go into the pros first. Uh, obviously, two in one. You have the hot pot and you have the grill. Ingenious idea. They should give them a Nobel Prize. And then the other pro about this is it heats up very, very quickly once you turn it on. Uh, the pot itself, depending on how much water you add, it takes anywhere between 10 minutes or so to 12 minutes to, for the water to boil. And then for the grill itself, it takes about one to two minutes for it to really, really heat up. Two cons right off the bat. Once you have this grill mounted on the top, you're not gonna have a lot of space to work with on the bottom. So make sure you prioritize it. And another thing is you don't have too much of a temp control. You can't adjust the temperature. So either turn it off when it's too hot or when the water is boiling too quickly or when um, the meat is cooking too quickly, you have to turn it off. But other than that, this is pretty, pretty exceptional. Definitely my first time having a two-in-one shabu hot pot along with a grill. I'm gonna give it right off the bat, four out of five. From there, we're gonna do some extensive review and then hopefully, we'll give you guys in more in-depth feedback. So, I'm gonna shut up, we're done, I'm gonna finish eating this, and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.